So you should not, that's a classic example of you should not launch into them with teeth and claws as they come through the door. You mm. want to prepare the ground for that because the one thing you don't want to do is invite a denial. Mm. Whether we're talking about a straying man or woman, the one thing you don't do is accuse without absolutely bomb-proof evidence. Because if I'm being accused, I need to see something in front of me which says, okay, I'm Bastard. busted. So collect evidence first. So you absolutely wait until you have something absolutely undeniable and then you plop that on the table and say we need to have a conversation. Mm. Now we don't go through this horrendous denial loop mm. which can go on for years. Yeah. Now we have to talk about the real issue. And the other thing is of course that people need to know that most couples survive most of the big issues that go on in relationships. They survive infidelity and all the rest of it. Mm. So if you start the argument with teeth and claws, chances are you're going to drive it over the edge. But if you say, come on, tell me what's going on, how are we going to solve this problem, chances are you're going to survive. Mm. So how you approach the argument is going to make a big difference. Can make a difference. As we bring this to a close, what must we remember, everyone? Because we're, even if it's not marriage, relationship mm. type of mm. uh, relationship, it's um, work or whatever else we are, there will be conflict as long as they're two human beings because we're sure. different. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the minute you're in a marriage especially, if, um, if it's not a relationship which you can translate from, the marriage is permanent. Mm. You always need to take into account the other person's character and their faith. Because most times when we fight, you forget that this is also a human being who you met 25 years into their life, they had been alive without you. You know, and then all of a sudden you're here thinking, I'm the one who brought you into this, I'm the one who brought you up. No. The, the, west, the best way to escape that scenario is to imagine that you're individuals mm. and that you met up 20 years into your life or 25 years and so therefore you work on it from there. Yeah, and, and usually when you're doing this you must always make cognizance of the fact that there, there's room for mistakes. Every human being is to err. You make a mistake yeah. and you have to live with it and just correct it and get better. All right, yeah. finally. Yeah, but the most important thing is to be a team. Mm. Stop thinking as an individual. Stop thinking as a single person always, you know, looking for the edge.